Right guys, I finally got frame generation to work with Starfield. It is the latest version of the mod 0 0.9.0. .0. As you can see here, I'm not using frame generation. I'm on FSR2 quality and with recording, I'm getting uh, 28 to 30 FPS. It's pretty shitty. And then let me just show you with frame generation on. Go to display and then we change FSR2 to the LSS and then we also put toggle on frame generation and remember earlier I was getting 27, 28 FPS now I'm getting 45, 48 it's a lot more playable however I can't get rid of the HUD glitching but hey, this is already a step up. Finally got frame generation to work. It is with the latest version of the mod, 0.9.0. Uh, the HUD elements are a little bit annoying, but it's a whole lot less annoying than 28 frames per second, that's for sure. If I was not recording this, I'd probably be getting extra three or four frames. So there's that. But guys, let me just go into Windows um, and just show you how I installed frame generation. Yet again, it is the latest version of the mod 0 0.9.0. All the previous versions I've not been able to get to work. So I'll catch you on my desktop in a sec. Right guys, as mentioned, um, I only got the latest version of the mod to work. The previous versions didn't work for me. So 0 0.9.0, it is a little bit different. Uh, you'll see that uh, 220 has only got one file in it and then common is, yeah, that's for all the other version or other game versions. Um, so what you want to do is in 220 just copy that paste it on your desktop and then common just copy that and then paste it on your desktop and then just optional just copy that and paste it on your desktop boom so once you've got all those files put them nice and neat because that's how you get it to work it has to be neat obviously um, and then what you do is you just cop or cut or copy that. Go to wherever Starfield's installed on your hard drive. Uh, okay, from this over here, and then just paste in the main game folder. Boom. So as you can see, I already have it there. And then just launch the game. It's gonna do this whole script hook CMD vibe. And then you should be then you should be able to boot into the game. Previously on 0.7.6 and 0.8.0, as soon as I toggled on frame generation or booted up the game, uh, my computer would crash. However, and now that's not the case. So just to show you display, doesn't matter what settings you use, but okay, so to toggle the frame generation, you want the LSS on quality or whichever one you want, and then frame generation needs to be on and then boom bob is your uncle so in the previous versions of the mod this is exactly where the the um the mod would crash my game um my game would come to a standstill and the sound would go duh, 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 until it crashes whereas now with 0 0.9.0 as you can see i'm doing from installing the mod to launching the game to in game you can see the mod is finally working happy days And as you can see, boom, frame generation. Only crappy thing is that uh, my, my mouse wheel is so broken. Only crappy thing is that there are there is ghosting on the HUD, but hey, if you're playing the game at 28 frames, 30, uh, 45 is nothing to smirk at. It's gone down a little bit now. But I am, oh, it's because I'm uh, uh, recording with OBS. That's why it's stealing more of my frames. But as you can see, guys, that's how you install frame generation into Starfield. The latest version 0.9.0. Thanks for watching. Booyah. Have a good day.